Quirky Vintage 1 um, was really a sequel to an earlier album called Wireless and that was one of West One's first albums. One of those pieces from that was used on the Worldwide Dulux campaign. We know the colours that go and the colours that don't go. And because of the success of that, they decided to do Quirky Vintage 1. So I did Quirky Vintage 1 back in 2007. It coincided with the start of the vintage kind of revival, really. And uh, it found its way onto lots of adverts. But probably the most um, recognised was on Mad Men. It looks as though the band on set are playing the Charleston, but it's really my Charleston from Quirky Vintage 1. The process starts quite early, really. It's uh, we have a, a meeting, the production team, uh, where we talk about the albums that we're going to put out. We, we talk to the sales team first, and they sort of say, "Look, clients are asking for X, Y, and Z." So this this started, yeah, about eight months ago. Most of the musicians that I use on it, I try and get uh, musicians that have a love of that era of music as well, so they know the style. So I kind of rely on them to come up with, with the right sounds. Uh, for instance, the drummer Paul Clavis uses a kit from the 20s and uh, he has a cymbal from, say, 1915 that he always uses on this stuff. And it sounds fantastic. The players that we have on, on it today are absolutely fantastic. Paul Clavis and uh, John Paracelli uh, and Steve Watts. A great combo and, um, and they feed off, off of one another in the room and we can, we can generally use the first take of, of everything that we do, but they're so creative that they're saying, hey, let's, let's try this in bar five, let's try this, how about this feel? Most modern projects, you'll kind of be working in a variety of different studios. I think it just makes a lot of sense location-wise to get the core of the instruments down, like the rhythm section down in a big studio, and then it's usually good to have like a break between that and the first stage of overdub, so you can kind of comp all the best takes together and check that you're kind of going in the right feel and direction with all the tracks. Because I've been writing for West One for about 15 years now, I believe it's all part of the what sort of brief you get given or the commission that you are given. So it's I'm grateful for the for the briefs and commissions I'm given to, to kind of evolve a lot of different styles of music. Mm -hmm. 